live from Studio A in the Rose City, it's Sharkbite Improv. <laughs> and now, here's your host, Nathaniel Patterson. Thank you all very, very much. You at home and our fantastic studio audience here at Studio A in the Rose City. My name is Nathaniel Patterson, and this is Sharkbite Improv. <laughs> we have five fabulous players for you tonight. We have Ryan. We also have Ryan. We have Jake, Taylor, and Josh. Tonight. And our very first game is a game called Freeze Tag. And it's for all of the players, so they can all come up. Now, the way Freeze Tag works is that this, we'll start with two people in a scene. So who's going to start the scene? It'll be Josh and Ryan. Excellent. And at any point, any one of the other cast members can say freeze and assume the position of one of these two, tag them out, and start a whole new, entirely different scene. So from you, the audience, can I get a suggestion of a, a place you would not want to be stuck at work? Shoe company. You, shoe company. Your suggestion is shoe company. Scene. <laughs> oh, you all right, Steve? Oh. Which? You okay? Just, uh, trying to make all these shoes as quickly as I can. <laughs> Well, you, you, my, my tiny fingers you shouldn't be so close to the rat traps, all right? This is not where we make the shoes. So let me just get these box of rat traps over here. The buffer is below. Thank you, Carl. Freeze. I made a corn silk doll for you, Father. Hmm. That's great, son. That's great. A corn silk doll. I really appreciate the things that you do with your art. I made it. Freeze. Senior year. <laughs> you can't keep eating my hermit crabs. They're pets. They are delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I call her the shit. <laughs> that shell. shell. Shell and all. It was originally a soda can. Because it's a hermit crab and they can live in anything, Tabitha. Well, I painted that well, one, Mike. Well, you use Pactor paint, which is pretty toxic this, to animals. This is why it's not working out. This is why I'm moving out. That's fine. You're my sister. Get out. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, you're my sister. I don't yeah. want you in my room. Like We have to live here in this squalid, divorcee dad apartment. Okay. Yeah, well, who's fault is that? You dad's, said it's dad's fault. You said it, and he said it was... <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to need the whole pool cleaned. <laughs> and I don't know your working style, but I would like it done quickly <laughs> and well. Oh, really? Well, that's going to cost extra. To do it well? You mm -hmm. don't, that's not just standard. Freeze. No, it's not. I have more love poems for you, Harold. <laughs> I have quite a few already. <laughs> oh, did you, did you like the last ones I wrote? See, I'm only about three or four into them. They're oh. each about ten pages long. Yeah, I, I, I can, I, it's a <laughs> leather-bound book. Oh, you bound this one, huh? That's from 1997. All right, let me see. Do you want the 2004 How about I read one? the first one? <laughs> oh, yeah. Is there any particular importance to the first one? Yeah, yeah, it's a haiku. Okay, let's see here. Let's see here. Freeze. Oh, I wanted to. I wanted to. I do. Tell me. Tell me the poem and I shall write it down. Okay. My quill. All right. Well, it's a love poem for Harold. Oh, wait, I gotta put the... Is it a quill? It needs ink. Right. Okay. All right. Oh, I, split, I flicked some of the ink off when I did oh. the thing. Oh. <laughs> okay, now do it. Can, can it be on parchment? Is that okay? I'm going to have to find some sheep, and I'm going to have to flay them alive. Freeze! <laughs> Miss Strobo, you've, you've done terrible things to my flock. The master wanted parchment, and that's how you make parchment. It's my crook. Yes, you are a shepherd, Mr. Shepherd. The I know what a shepherd is. <laughs> it's not shearing Brace. time. <laughs> they took little Betty, my, my little sheep? Yes. And they deflate her? Alive. <laughs> <laughs> How could you let them do that to her? All I have is a cloak! <laughs> <laughs> How can, it's like I'm a Batman no villain. It's Freeze. like I'm a Batman villain. You call that a crook? <laughs> this is a crook! <laughs> Got a microphone on, I don't want to fall. Yeah. 
Well, it's like a bishop's crozier. It's so big. I can't really shepherd very effectively with this, but it looks cool. You could push a lot of Catholics around with it. <laughs> Priest, good laugh back there. <laughs> hey, uh, look, um, I didn't mean to get sucked into the board game Candyland, but the candy cane force is a little awkward. I just want to get out, okay? I can't give you any advice. I'm just, uh, I'm a side attraction here. Okay, I got double purple. I just wanted to get out. <laughs> this is like Jumanji. It's creeping me out. Freeze. 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 Oh, so you come to the gingerbread guild to get out of Candyland. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I was talking to Mr. Plum. That guy's nuts. Okay. <laughs> He's technically a professor. I know. He <laughs> I thought that was Clue. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Look, the point is, he got me running around. In order to move, I keep having to draw cards out of nowhere. It's getting really oh, awkward. Oh, there's one. Oh, Cut. come on. Jesus. Go right. back three spaces. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. Look, I just need to get out, okay? You don't understand. All right? It's a little terrifying. There's that whole mud pit thing that's apparently made of chocolate. Oh, Freeze. <laughs> Still stuck in candy. You know, I live in a glass house and I will throw stones. <laughs> it's glass candy. Don't, please, don't, no, you don't understand. I lost my brother in the, in the, like, the mud pit, the chocolate swamp. It's delicious and so was he. Wait, <laughs> Princess Lollipop is kind of a whore. She came on to me. Things yeah, have been awkward. Well, she's European royalty. They're all sort of <laughs> inbred and whorish. Come on. All right, look. You got it. Was that, ooh, ooh yellow? Yellow. Oh. Would you a lemon drop? There oh, we, there you go. Is it? This isn't like the toxic ones that I found in the lollipop. Order. That is a choice you must make in this world. <laughs> Freeze. <laughs> Daniel, could you have given me a tinier teacup? <laughs> <laughs> if you so insist. <laughs> no, it's sarcasm, Doc Daniel. <laughs> Just put it next to the other seven that are on my hand. <laughs> oh, oh there's like, there, like a little Russian nest, and I'll just go oh, here. Thank you one. for the tiniest one. Thank you. <laughs> I got them from Russia, like nesting dolls with cups. There's they love tea in Russia. There's not even any liquid in here, Daniel. <laughs> it's, it's an idea. I think it's <laughs> <laughs> Hey, so March Hare, when Alice gets here, we gotta act just totally nuts, all right? It's gotta really, it's gotta be, you gotta sell it. You know, I went to Juilliard just for this purpose. <laughs> 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 I know. I mean, I got my degree in economics from Yale. And yeah. Please. Um. Agnes, are you quite finished with your cross stitch? <laughs> I, I, was, I was working on it. You, you wanted sheep's wool. Sheep's coal. She I, I believe you misunderstood what I said, Agnes. Do, co do sheep mine coal? <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a play on words. It's oh. going to be rather creative, and we're going to sell it. Like a Wordsworth a poem. <laughs> Like a Wordsworth poem. Agnes, your sheep have been producing crap for coal. You need to work them harder in the coal mines. Here's my curvy. <laughs> Impressive. Very nice. Keeps going, doesn't it? It's rather elaborate. <laughs> well, phrase. <laughs> you drove my family out of business? With your coal mining sheep? <laughs> and you had that parchment poem writer with the long, with the quill that didn't hold ink? You had him kill my daughter's lamb, Agnes. This <laughs> was you. You seem very rude about this. Curvy <laughs> <laughs> straw. Okay, I'm out of it. Oh, I, I dropped my tiny... It's rather non-threatening, really, but it's the point. <laughs> Got a tiny one. Well, you're the longest person to stay at old man pole dancing. <laughs> 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 now I'm going to teach you the twisty. <laughs> so I've got to get up to the top. I've got a bunch of wooden nickels from the turn of the century. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes when I get to the top, people say I look like a sloth. <laughs> you be the judge of that. I like sloths. Because you know what I like? Gray hair. <laughs> okay, Freeze. Oh, damn, I was going to make another joke. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, baby. Now remember, when those old ladies come in, we got to be dancing up and down the pole. 
Uh, I took this for five years, po old man pole dancing. Right? <laughs> I don't know how it works. I own this Jonathan. club, all right? No, no. The a... old man club? Yeah. Mm. I've, been, I've owned this club for 35 years. Back then it was a young man's pole dancing. That's pretty hot. But that's not the point. <laughs> <laughs> the folds in your skin are wrapping around, though. Let's <laughs> <laughs> oh, and see! <laughs> That's well, I got dizzy. That's not <laughs> the folds in your skin are uh, wrapping around the pole. <laughs> Only the finest. Only visual. the finest here in Portland for, for free. So, our next game is a game called Lines from the Pocket. And it's for three players. Yes. All right. Jake, Ryan. And Ryan. And now the way Lines from the Pocket works, before the show started, we had our fabulous studio audience write down a series of lines. And each one of these gentlemen has three of them. And they're going to do a scene, and every once in a while they'll pull one of those lines out. So can I get a suggestion for where would you find three grown men? Tattoo parlor. <laughs> your, suggestion, <laughs> your suggestion is tattoo parlor. All right. I got a lizard. And I got, uh, I think it's called Tribell. Okay, so I'm really nervous about this. I've never gotten one of these things before. They make me very <laughs> uncomfortable. Sure. I have a fear of needles. So what I'm going to need you to do is knock me out before this starts. <laughs> like with a, with, with a hammer? Or you want Novocaine? I mean, what are you after here? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, whatever you've got. I got a stool. I mean, is that gonna work? Like, it's a, <laughs> Across the head. It's a heavy. Across the head. But before you hit me with the stool, I need you to make sure that my wife knows. Surfboard. <laughs> that she can ride me <laughs> like a surfboard. <laughs> Tim, you've been coming in here once a week. What? For three years. <laughs> Keep telling me you want a tattoo. You never have the courage to do it. I'm trying. I'm my, my wife wants me to be tough for her. All right, look, I'm going to tell you one thing that my father told me. When you interact with women, you got to remember just this one simple phrase. I want to know what love is. <laughs> I want you to show me. And that's what I'm trying to do. Katink. <laughs> Tim, there you are. I've been searching all over for you. This is the last place I'd ever expect to find you. Bernice, it's for you, baby. Huh. It's for you. A disgusting tattoo parlor? When you left... I remember the words that you said to me. You said, you turkey. <laughs> <laughs> That's our special word. <laughs> we're, having, we're having a great time. We're getting a little snorty. <laughs> you know, I just want you to know that if anything bad happens, if we need a safe word, you turkey will always come out. And I want you to know that I was going to do something that I thought would be safe. If I got scared, I could say, you turkey. Look, well, I, what I, I'm sorry to break this up, but it's, it's now or never. I close in 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Tim, I believe in you. Get the tattoo. Okay. Are you ready with the stool? I'm about ready with the stool. All now, right. Now, before, before we do this, I want to I wanna let you know that I can also tattoo some very wise words. Words that I know and have tattooed on many a person. It's, this is spicier than I thought it would be. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I... That's what I'm always saying. I go to the Taco Bell. He says it all the time. <laughs> I, go, I go to Captain Quesadilla. I go to... He spends a significant portion of his paycheck at those types of restaurants. I go, I go to... I'd rather be playing Refill Ball. Oh, that's a great restaurant. They're so good. Have you had their nachos? Oh, they're spicy. Stacked like this. Which would be perfect for me to get the tattoo that says... One more time for me. <laughs> Gary? It's not I want to show you what love is. <laughs> Honey, it has uh, something to do with spicy. I think you know it. I, I, I work off intuition. It'll look right. Honey, why don't we use that old phrase that your mother Jesus. used to say to me so many times before we got oh, married? I miss mom so much. Please. Please, Bernice. I can never forget those words. She used to say all the time, I wish I could help you, but I can't find my protractor. <laughs> <laughs> My mother is a great, great mathematician. Fifth grade math teacher, yeah. Can, Candace from Aldehyde. Mm. She was a great woman. <laughs> you could get a tattoo of a protractor in oh, her honor. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Well, 
Do you want one too? We can make this a whole husband-wife thing. Matching protractors. Uh, Tim, you, do you think we should? You could get half the protractor <laughs> on your hip. I'll and give you. Get... I'll give you a price off. And you know what I always say to all my best customers? It's my favorite thing to say to them. It seemed like a good idea at the time. <laughs> <laughs> it says that over your sign. All over the sign. That's yeah. right. You come in here with a hundred dollars. Doesn't matter whether you're drunk or not. It seemed like a good idea at the time. <laughs> all right, Bernice. Let's do it. Let's I'm gonna go in for the stool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go. You ready? Okay, on three. All right. You wanna count? Uh, uh, sure. How about you do them at the same time? So same One, time. Two, three. Wait, wait, wait! And sing! <laughs> <laughs> that was spicier than I thought it would be. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> yeah, which one of you guys wrote surfboards? You should be ashamed of yourself. Good one. <laughs> all right, it's time for some stories. We all love stories. Now, who would like? Which one of you fine improvisers would like to tell a story today? Jump up. Or? Josh, tell a story. All right. Tell us a story, Josh. Tell us a story, Josh. All right, I'm gonna do one off a of suggestion. So if anybody has just something that pops into their mind, <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, buddy. Oh, my goodness. Do you guys have a suggestion? Just any word, anything. Anything that comes to your mind. Lasagna. Lasagna. Oh, Garfield. I used to <laughs> get up in the morning, every morning before I went to school, to watch Garfield in Friends, which is one of my favorite shows. Um, I, th I've seen every show, I think, probably five times. Um, I feel honored to have seen those shows. <laughs> um, I loved... I loved Garfield, and I loved Odie, and I loved Nermal. I was going to Abu Dhabi. Um, it was just a really big and important part of my life growing up as a kid, because I would go to school, I'd eat breakfast, and I'd have Garfield and friends to keep me company. Aww. That's it. <laughs> Look, Mr. Garfield, um, I hate to be the one to do this to you. I really do, but we got to cancel Garfield and friends. It, it, Teletubbies, it, their rates have gone through the charts, and we, we just we just can't afford to waste the airtime on a show that's, you know, the kids don't want to watch anymore. <sighs> I'm sorry, I didn't hear anything you just said. If you want, you, you, you could come in. I just, okay. I, I'm just trying to, it's rather warm out, so I'm kind of trying to okay, keep the air just, conditioning bills low. Lasagna again, dude? Really? My favorite. Would you like some? Would you like some? I just, I'm only, only going to stay for 10 minutes, but okay, that's fine. Yes. Oh, um, I've, I've worked so hard on it. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> I don't know, Phil. I'm a failed cartoonist. I got nothing going on. Jim Davis, you're one of the most successful cartoonists <laughs> ever. <laughs> Why would you say that? Who? Who reads it anymore, honestly? Your mug says, world's most successful cartoonist. <laughs> <laughs> you know what that's a picture of? Yeah. Yeah, it's Garfield. It's Garfield, yeah, I know. Yeah. You drew Garfield. I, I did. Look, I'm just Scott Adams. I'm just the guy who created Dilbert. <laughs> you know? It's been all right. It's, it's been not as good as Garfield, no, though. No, it's not. Also, I'm a huge misogynist, so whatever. <laughs> Well, <laughs> am I right? I, I mean, you, you, when you're right, you're right, Scott. I mean, I guess Thanks, what I'm Jim. saying is, is who reads the paper anymore? We got to get into social media. Oh, hold on a second. Hey, uh, yeah, we'll sign your stuff. Uh, God, I hate Comic Con. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what do you got? Uh, picture of Dilbert. Hey, there you go. There you go. Hey, does he have pupils? By the way, I've always. Dilbert. Uh, no, he does not have pupils. <laughs> he just has that. little spots in his glasses. eyes. Yeah, yeah, the glasses. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Anyway, so what's? Why are you feeling so down? <laughs> oh, yeah. man, I don't know. You know, it's like, come on. I got, I got what? I got a dog. I got a cat. Yeah. You know. You're talking about the the. The cartoon? Or are you talking about <laughs> well, the in real life? No, I mean in, in real life. Oh, I mean, great. The obviously, in the cartoon, there yeah. was the whole pig thing, the Orson. You yeah, remember yeah. The, you, uh, you ever watch uh, the show? Uh, uh, you didn't have a cartoon, did you? <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Lanolin, they're shutting us down. <laughs> what? The big guy. Well, like, what the, will the children think? They'll think they won't even know who U.S. Acres were. The other subversive, smaller side of Garfield and Friends. <laughs> We're the horse, which We're is what we friends. are. You're a sheep, a, a kind of an attractive lady sheep, and I'm a pig named Orson. 
and we live on a farm, and there's a rambunctious rooster. I appreciate that you always give us the backstory. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I get lost. You I, know me. Lana, Lana, they do it every episode because no one watches us. <laughs> mm. <laughs> but we have a good thing going on, you know? Dude, they like us. It, they it, like us. It, the, the kids. They like the cat. <laughs> you guys have the lasagna thing, that's funny. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I roll around in a, in a waller. Well, maybe we can help. Maybe we can do something. Say, what's your plan then? <laughs> I'm thinking it involves either social media or Comic Cons. What do you think? <laughs> so oh, oh, okay. So the show's gonna be over. Yeah. You understand that while my name is Mr. Garfield, I'm just a big fan of lasagna. That's the only real connection that I have. <laughs> well, you know, God, this is embarrassing. Um, you know, they, they, they have these, like, you know, address forms for, you know, where our characters live, and I just, you know, peeked at it last night when I was, you know, drinking to try and get my courage up to t tell my childhood idol this. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that was great lasagna, by the way. You know, would you like me to wrap you some to take home? I would, yeah, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm going to do that tonight. I'd love it when I get to share my lasagna. Good, good, you have goals in life, unlike me. <laughs> Is it from scratch? <laughs> Ooh, that's, that's lovely packing. It's an angel. <laughs> <laughs> it's gorgeous. For an angel. Oh, stop it. I mean. Just, just, just stop it. I'll keep going. Yeah, okay. You angel, okay. you. <laughs> So I tweeted that he's sleeping with the executive director. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. It's social media. And then I hashtagged it comics. Hashtag. With three X's. Good. <laughs> three X's. Three X's. Kids like the end of the alphabet. Yeah. That's, That's the hardest part to get to. That's why I did it. So. <laughs> Scott, uh, look, this hold on a second. <laughs> nice tits. <laughs> What's up? It's great. What's great up, Jim? Uh, look, um, this is going to sound crazy. Just bear with me, okay. all right? Okay. I got an email from the executive producer. Now, I'm not riffing, but, but have you ever had, like, maybe thought that your cartoon characters are coming alive? Maybe writing emails to your producers? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just, I to I'm talking, you know, it's, it's just hypothetical, but that's never happened to you? Hey, thanks for coming. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, I'll draw the little, he's got the crazy hair. Oh, <laughs> God, cute. it's fucking people. Yeah. yeah um, <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you, Jim. Yeah. You sound a little bit off your rocker. No, I mean, it's, it's just it's hypothetical, right? Because why would a pig, why would a pig write an email to the producer? That's crazy. Well, my first wife wrote an email to the producer, and let me tell you, she was a pig. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that, that was from a strip. Yeah, I wrote you that just, in. You took strip. that from a strip. I took that from a strip. <laughs> Why do you use bits on me? I can't. I'm sorry. I took it from hi. a. I, hi. Uh, he wants a photo. Uh, let's see. Mm. Why do you always use bits? I, I hate don't know it. why they never take photos with us. They're just. Uh, okay. Yeah, do you want the. Uh, because I'm. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're finally like, actually at Comic Con and we're gonna get to meet the guy who created Garfield! Oh my gosh, I think I'm gonna pee myself. Would well, you just relax already? Try to have some dignity. We're here amongst. The greats. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have your drawings? Yeah. You got yours? You left them in the car? <laughs> How could you leave them in the car? Where are you oh no, they're in my uh, shoe pocket. Super cool. <laughs> Dude, that is awesome. Hey, what's up? <gasps> oh, I'm Scott Davis. I created oh, Dilbert. No. <laughs> 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 you, I'm, 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 I'm Mr. Davis. No, 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 no. Adam. Sorry, sorry, David. Scott, Adam, sorry. Scat him. Scott. This, this is whiskey. That is so cool. It's 10.30 in the morning. <laughs> That's okay. Can I ask you a, can I ask you a question? We. Let me ask you a question because you look like a nice young gentleman. He really is. Did you hear that? Is this woman emasculating you? <laughs> Cause that's not cool. I'm 13. I want you to subscribe to reddit.com slash men's rights. <laughs> 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 Uh, that is seriously offensive. Oh, <laughs> we'll talk about this later in the car. 
Scott, <laughs> come on, man. What are you, what are you doing? I'm just mm-hmm. making sure this guy's not a pussy. What? Oh, that's really Hi. good. Hi. Mr. Davis. Yeah? We have some drawings. Oh. And we would really These appreciate it if you would look at them. We call it and give, and give it the happy friends. Oh, my yeah, it's, God. It's, it's a work in progress. <laughs> oh, thank you. But we would love your input. You see, they're happy. They're, yeah. yeah. And they have adventures. Sounds right. unrealistic. In a magical <laughs> way. <laughs> they're friends. God. I don't think he's getting it. Well, no, I'm, it's, it's um, the plot twist. The plot twist. The plot twist. The plot twist. So there's a plot twist. What's the plot? Twist? They stop being friends for a little while. Like totally stop. And then, and then, get this. Come on. Oh, <laughs> happy friends again. <laughs> I mean, it's three pages. It's a. It's a yeah, the first page they're friends. It's the second script. page they're not friends. Well, you the know, third page just, they're friends again. You get it? <laughs> Each yeah. page is a panel. I mean, this is. It's so, like one big panel. It's, it's, about, so, it's about the artwork. In also, the you scene. drew over the family circus. <laughs> <laughs> it's subtext. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what that is. <laughs> well, what, I, let's be let's be accepting. Scott. Okay. Remember, All right, remember Jim. When we, we were... have another. We have a question for you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're, for me? Okay. You're what both you our idols. Oh. Yeah. Thank you. Except yeah. respectively. Yeah. 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 And we want to be like you. <sighs> so so, so what would you so... <laughs> what, 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 what would you say is like the the biggest thing that you've learned doing this job altogether? Like, like what's the one piece of advice you would give us? Oh. Um, you want to go first? Well, I mean, <laughs> that's, uh, I mean, I, you know, do you want a pen? Oh, okay. I got plenty of room in my yeah, shoe pocket, actually. That. That's, that's it's nice. an invention, patent pending. Uh, well, don't go based on your life, um, because, do- you know, a dog and a cat, you know what? That's bad advice. That's bad advice. Okay. Right, scratch that out. <laughs> um, follow your dreams. <laughs> I knew it. I knew he'd say that. Follow your dreams. Can I give you my advice now, please? <laughs> <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta go. I gotta go to the head after this. <laughs> this is the bathroom. That's the toilet. The head. The toilet. Oh. <laughs> is that advice? That's your advice? Okay, let's see. Right, just write down. Write down. I didn't say my advice yet. In- just scratch. Just scratch. Okay. Look, you guys look like a couple of good-looking kids. You look like you're doing well in life. Okay. No, no, no. Don't write down how I describe you. That's not advice. That's just a description. I'm going to say it right now, and I want everyone in this Comic-Con to hear this right now. Oh, you shut up. You guys shut up. Women are the enemy. Incidentally, this entire show is sponsored by Reddit slash men's rights. It's true. He's a misogynist. That's right. Men's rights. Classic Josh on that one. Classic me. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, shit. That's really funny. Let's play a game of late for work. So that's for that's for four players. Let's bring up four players. You guys. Oh. Who's going to be late? Ryan's going to be late. Excellent. Who's going to be the, the boss? Is anybody else going to work with me? I can work. All right, excellent. So I'm the boss. You're the boss. Excellent. In his All head. right. Anyway. So Ryan is gone. So Ryan is late for work, and I need three reasons why Ryan is late for work. What's something that? What's the reason that Ryan is late for work today? Scabies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna write that down because I want to make sure I got the, the wording correct. Scabies. There's a reason he is late for work. Sorry. <laughs> okay. What's another reason that's not scabies that Ryan is late for work? His bus was hijacked. His bus <laughs> was hijacked. <laughs> All right. And what's a third reason? He couldn't find his mesh tank top. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. He could not okay. find his mesh right. tank yeah, top. Yeah, yeah. So, scabies. scabies. Right. Oh his Taylor bus was right. hijacked. <laughs> Ryan lives in like a basement studio apartment with no windows. <laughs> Wait, what was the third one? <laughs> uh, he couldn't find his mesh. And his, he could not find. Okay, so that's why I write these down. My brain doesn't work. Scabies. Don't think about men's rights. Mesh tank top. So scabies. His bus was hijacked, and he could not find his mesh tank top. Let's bring Ryan in. <laughs> and where does everybody work? At the zoo. You guys work at the zoo? Yeah. See. All right, look. Hose it down. I'm hose right. it. Where's Phil? We need Phil. Has anybody seen him? 
For God's <laughs> sake. <laughs> Phil! Oh. Hi! Good God, man! What took you so long? Uh, You're three I'm, hours I'm, I'm late. Here. I'll just get to work right now. Phil, me. Phil, whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 I don't think so. I don't think so. Three hours late. Not excusable. Not excusable. No, 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 never. No. Why would it ever be excusable? Yeah. But I, <laughs> I have shit to hose down literally. <laughs> I, I, I understand. I understand the hippos have been getting very active. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. But I've, I've been getting, I've had a scratch. Uh, I, I, I was bitten. And I had to. Well, that doesn't my, sound right. Mosquito bites? No, it's not right at all. I'm sure you were itchy, but I was I, bitten. I was, uh, I was bitten as well. No, I, I don't think you were bitten at all. I bit someone. No, nope. <laughs> that doesn't sound right. That's I think you're a compulsive liar. <laughs> I, I am a bit of a compulsive liar. That's why I work in a zoo because I can tell people that I do good work that benefits animals. We hire ex-cons. It's true. Yeah. So I, uh, a, a zombie was coming after me. <laughs> and, I'm just trying to figure it out. You know. <laughs> no, it's understandable. Uh, uh, something that, that hears. It's Hold on. I'm hey. just trying, trying to get to the Look, if you guys are going to go back into the wolves, make sure you don't get rabies, OK? You guys have both been immunized? I got I got the raccoon, boss. All right. Don't worry. All right. the paperwork. All right. Hey, make sure. Don't, immunized don't for rabies. You. Just euthanize this All right. Quick. <laughs> go ahead. Yeah, so, gonna get this truth out. be told, it's it's a rabies-related thing. <laughs> Probably not. I'm just trying to go and su support, <laughs> trying to support your stance. No, I know. Thank you. <laughs> it's skin. I had skin. It's skin. Yeah, that's skin true. Skin. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I had skin Excuse rash. Me. Skin disease. So I, I, I kind of got lost in your zoo. Yep. Uh, I'm looking for like. Uh, Crotch lice. Yeah. Um, do you guys have those here? Yeah, uh, they're actually in the pens. They're going to be uh, past the elephants. You keep lice in pens. Pens, yeah. It's a, it's a tiny little glass cage. Gives them I love Newport. To do. Awesome. <laughs> yep. So I had crabs and I had to wash up my crabs. No, the crabs, you know where the crabs are. Come on. They're next to all the other arthropods. Hey, boss. Yeah. Boss, the alligators are losing their scales. Oh, no kidding. And scales. there's all the rabies. There's scales and going around. rabies. <laughs> <laughs> scales. Do you suggest that we use some sort of ointment or medication to take care of the situation? Maybe if they had scabs, we could talk a little <laughs> bit about this. But we weren't hired for this, boss. Just saying. You know, and the escalated things, like, you know. Just get back to work. I, I'm not. It's <laughs> unbelievable. So I had some itches. Yeah. Yeah? Me, sure. Yeah. <laughs> and I itched so much yep. that I got past my skin. Maybe, and I, maybe think about <laughs> scabs and rabies and combine the word together. <laughs> so <laughs> here's the thing. Thank you. Thank you for I've been so afraid to talk about my scabies. Uh, okay. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> All right, I'll I'm give all, you. I'm, I'm always trying to script issue. No, I'll give you the first hour. I'm really say it's an I'm really thing. So I'll go ahead and get to work. No, now. no, whoa, 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 buddy, whoa! I got one hour docked off here. You still got two more to account for. Well, so uh, I, w I was a, uh, I, I, I had to drive a bus. Well, I, I mean, I, I, I was, I was on a bus and I had to take it over. I was an extra in speed. Oh. Uh, well, I mean, I mean that's that's pretty close. So another saying you commandeered the bus. Might yeah, also I be took the bus over. I had to steal a bus. I, I killed a bus driver and I. Oh. <laughs> which another word for commandeering a bus might be? Uh, I I I, 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 I <laughs> taking something by force. Hey, the, boss. Yeah. Uh, boss, the. Uh, the power jack isn't working. Oh, for God's sake. Are you guys high again? again? <laughs> Get it together. I, I, I jacked the you bus. <laughs> I Stop oh, smoking weed. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Sorry, go ahead. I bus jacked a bus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I bus jacked from a bus driver. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. really high yeah. back here. Yeah. Super high. D okay, like, just please stop. Please stop. Higher than the sky. All right. Boss, you should get some of this. Jack, I'm not going to smoke weed with you, okay? And you just you keep can, it you on your You can at least say hi to Jack every now and then. Hi, Jack. Thank you, boss. Hello. Thank you. How are you? <laughs> I, I jacked the school bus. <laughs> I jacked the magic school bus. <laughs> so close. You know, I feel like I want to believe you, because you're right there. You're right there. Hi, Jack. How you doing? There oh, you now, go. now you're just I being sarcastic about it. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Yeah. That's two hours. That's two hours. I mean, yeah, yeah. So clearly, the bats, the guano, given our shit experience. Yeah. I need to go take care of that I right know, now, Phil, don't I? Phil, oh. Phil, whoa, 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 look, look, buddy. 
Now I Kevin. Got, yeah, I got three hours here. That's two. You want to talk to me about what's going on in this last hour? All right, Kevin. The thing that really had me stuck. <laughs> <laughs> I had to be part of a video game, and I had to get the balls put all over me. So that, no, not at all. That's not true. Why do you keep really lying, good, to me? though? I don't like the lies. <laughs> I had to get my threads stuck together. I had to get a new well, this <laughs> outfit. I mean, I'm sure I it's a new outfit. I had to rip off my shirt and show off my muscles. Oh, well, that sounds very homoerotic. I mean, is there a possibility I, that there's an outfit that you like to wear around? Uh, I had to wear my village people outfit. <laughs> well, I mean, come on, that's a little offensive. I'm wearing a zookeeper uniform. Are you insulting me? I'm wearing a zookeeper <sighs> uniform as hey, well, Kevin. Hey, yeah. Kevin. Yeah. You know, you don't, you don't say hi to me. But you know what? I am too sexy for this job. That's too sexy. That's true. That's true. I can see right through your shirt. It's it's <laughs> lovely. You yeah. could, I'm yeah. sorry. I'm, work, no, it's I'm fine. trying it's to work. Fine. I apologize. Can you just can you give him the attention he deserves? You're the boss. <laughs> Why is it my job? It's because I'm the woman. So just, Kevin, lot, so Kevin. Kevin, I had to get a new shirt. Right. And it's, I was I was be, being tailored for the new shirt, and a button just. Fell off and flew everywhere, so I had to find the button. You know, it's probably not a button-up. It's probably more like a jersey, like what <laughs> football players wear. So I had my my jersey on. Well, like a jersey. Like a jersey. <laughs> not a jersey. I had my... Yeah, uh, boss, yeah. boss, I don't think Jack is wearing the proper attire that we're supposed to wear. You know, we're strictly supposed to wear full shirts, full tops. I thought we were on the same team here. Uh, it, you're not adhering to code. We're trying to have a friend sesh yeah, back here. Sleeves are mandatory. <laughs> Jack. We're working I with the alligators a, today. So the thing is, Kevin, Kevin yeah. I don't want to tell anyone else, no, that's but right. I like to wear mesh tank tops. Oh, yes. <laughs> so, no, I, you know, we've all been there. We've all been there. Have you been back to my office? Oh, I've been to my office. Oh, oh yeah. Stop so, by at lunch. Yeah, so I can, I'll, I'll go ahead and get yeah. you. Oh, yeah, I, yeah. You know, I was just having my time. and. Hey, Kevin, I quit. Oh, oh that's, that's all right. He's replaced. I can go take his job. Yeah, go, go yeah, absolutely. Yeah, go so ahead. So I, uh, the, all the stories combined, you yeah. know, I had to hijack the bus. Right, that was the second one, though. Uh, the the first one was a lot like rabies. I had scabies. That's what it was. And I just really like my mesh tank tops, mm. and I couldn't wear it to work. Well, you look sexy. Don't tell HR. <laughs> <laughs> and I see. won't tell HR. <laughs> Jesus. You look sexy. Don't tell HR. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Hi, Jack. Hi, Hi Jack. Jack. <laughs> so our next game. Hmm. We're playing a game. A game we haven't played yet. It's a game called Superheroes. Ooh. It's for four players. Jake, guys, Josh, guys, Ryan, Ryan, and. I, I had a yeah, Ryan. You should probably do this because she wasn't here for the rehearsal. We actually did this. <laughs> we'll cut that out later. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just edit that in post. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Uh, so, Love the way too. superheroes works is there is a global crisis. And this team of superheroes needs to solve that problem. Uh, and the way it works is like, Josh is a superhero, but he's not Batman or Superman because look at him. So what is... <laughs> <laughs> I know, I look better, right? Yeah, actually you do. <laughs> so what is... Uh, if Josh were a superhero, what would Josh's superhero name be? Radish guy. Josh, you are radish guy. <laughs> <laughs> gets food. And so as they come in, Josh will introduce each superhero with a new power, and they'll take on that power, and uh, they'll solve the crisis, and then they'll leave. So what is the global crisis that Radish Guy and his team of super friends needs to solve? Famine. Famine. <laughs> <laughs> Big fr scabies, famine. <laughs> Same girl. <laughs> Scene. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I can't wait to get this party started. <laughs> It's an all-vegetarian menu. I had to sacrifice a lot of my friends. <laughs> <laughs> but it's going to be great. It's going to be great. Wait a minute. What's that on the radio? <laughs> famine? Oh, that's... What? Famine? All right, that's a big thing to solve. I'm going to need my friends for this one. I hope they show up soon to the party. <laughs> oh, thank God you're here, barrel-tossing boy. <laughs> <laughs> I need your help. I gotta toss this barrel really quick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was amazing. You're doing such a great job. It this was really rad, wasn't it? It was quite radish. <laughs> 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 
I laugh too long. Uh, there's famine. There's famine. We need to solve the famine crisis. Can you? <gasps> what's he doing here? I'm not talking to him anymore. I know. What? What's? What's his name, though? <laughs> Mr. Siren, he's always screaming and playing. Oh, Mr. Siren. <laughs> woo, woo, woo! That's, uh, it's a little toasty in here. Yeah, it's uh, it's because <laughs> barrel toss a guy. He <sighs> heats the place up when he's tossing barrels. Uh, Look, it's not important. We got a famine. There's famine happening oh. everywhere. Yeah. And I have the smorgasbord of, of my friends that I sacrificed. <laughs> Sorry, didn't mean to cut you off. <laughs> hey there, friends. Hey, you... Baron von Pastry. Good to see you. <laughs> it's it's wonderful <sighs> to see you. Have a croissant. Oh. Croissant for oh. Oh. you. Croissant, croissant, Mr. Baron. Man. Okay, uh, <laughs> Baron von Pastry. <laughs> there's there's famine. There's a feeling in yell, so be careful. There may be some meat in that one as well. Oh, I like meat though. Meat's great. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, famine. Famine is a, a crisis that's happening all across the world, and we need your help, Baron Von Pastry, because you create pastries. We don't know where, but there they are. <laughs> oh, and where? you know what we could do? <gasps> yeah, that's we it. We put, put all the, the pastries in the barrel. In the barrel. And then the barrel tossing guy will toss My them to the- My accent became French all of a sudden. Well, you made the songs. <laughs> Your accent. I'll, I'll let people know as I'm running down the street, but there's a Doppler effect. Yeah. Just so we're clear. Oh, yeah, because so like, you're going to uh, Yeah, uh, we're going to make sure that that doesn't. Yeah. And you know what? For the good of the nation, I'm going to take all my friends that I sacrificed here tonight, <laughs> and I'm going to join them and commit ritual seppuku. <laughs> and then put me in a barrel and toss me to Somalia. I okay? can make a delicious cake out of you. Let me toss this one first. Okay. <laughs> oh, now I'm a cake. Into the barrel you go. Oh. <laughs> uh, <cool>. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'll go. Good work. I'll go spread pastries down this street. All right. Hey, it's halftime, okay? Got to take off. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll eat this, I guess. Tastes like crap. Oh! <laughs> I'm bored now. <laughs> that bit should be called the indifference of the West. <laughs> Look at all this famine. That one's got meat in it. <laughs> Holy God. <sighs> Let's play some Hotel Motel. That's Woo. for two people. Woo. So it's going to be Jake and who else can be in Hotel Motel today? Oh, should I? Jake and Josh. Yeah. He's do it, do it. That's all right. Jake and Josh. Now, I'll the way it. Hotel Motel works you is pretty in? simple. I can, okay. uh, one man gets a hotel room. Pretty basic. Then after that, we'll adjust it. Scene. Hello. Hi. How Welcome to a Holiday Inn. Oh, good. Uh, I have a room. All right. What is your last name? Uh, do you want an ID? Yeah. There you go. Let's take your ID. Smithersonson. Smithersonson. <laughs> You're the son of Smitherson. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's funny. I haven't heard that one before. We have a twin bed and we have a queen bed. Oh, it, did my reservation... I thought I... I didn't have anything reserved. Oh, hold reserves. on. Don't touch the computer. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we just had to do a Smitherson. Oh. So I'm going to change that in the records. Does that, I mean, does that affect anything? Is that? No, I just put you in a Smitherson, but your last name is actually Smitherson. So, so yeah. <laughs> there, I fixed it. Oh, Okay, thank you. so we have a queen bed. Queen, okay. And it's going to be on the fourth floor. Sure. Yeah, if I could just have a credit card or a cash or a money order or yeah. check. We take checks. Do Wow. Uh, <laughs> Whatever you have. I mean, I, I mean, I have a credit card. I have. I, I mean, I have checks too. Is that? What do you prefer? I mean, well, you have my visa. Do you want to check as well? Well, you want to split it in half? <laughs> <laughs> if you don't mind, I mean, it saves me a little. All right, I'll put half on the card. Just start writing the checkout. All right, sure. You got a pen? Yeah, it's got a little flower on the top, so oh, you don't steal it. That's cute. <laughs> no, it's plastic. Yeah, it's not a real flower. No, no, it should. They should make smelly ones. Are you here for the strudel convention? Oh yeah, yeah, actually. That's awesome. Yeah, it smells great over here. It does. It does. Is that is that down the hall? Is that in the? It's in the conference room. Okay. And some of it's by the pool. That's sure. But I don't know why. Yeah. Okay. So here's your I left your it visa. blank. Got to run it through the. 
You left it blank. Oh, yeah, because I have to put the rest of the, the amount in. Right. All right, it's going to be $7,000. All right, so <laughs> that's a joke, right? I mean, we're... This is $40. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh. It's legit. All right, so here's your keys. You're in room oh, thank you. 6B. 6B? 6B on the fourth floor. 6B. <laughs> and okay. just go out the way you came in. Take right. a left. Okay. Go by the pool. There's some free strudel by the pool if you want some strudel. Oh, that's excellent. That's yeah, don't knock, don't knock the table over okay. like the pool boy did because yeah. you don't want soggy strudel. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah. Then you take a right and head up the stairs and it's the first door on your right. Okay, now the convention lasts three days. Can I have a late checkout or should we talk? Should I call down? I might need a wake-up call. Okay, I could give you a wake-up call. Is that <laughs> What's your favorite bird? What? I mean, like, a, like a call up to my room. Would you make a bird? Do you make? Yeah. Bird? What's your favorite bird? Uh, a cockatiel. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty close, right? Yeah. It is. It is. Do you have any other questions, sir? No, no. You've been lovely. Uh, just so I can write a good compliment card. It's it's Jamesonburg. Jameson Berg. Jameson Berg and Smith Smithsonson. <laughs> Smithersonson. Smithersonson. That's okay. It's on my ID. All right. I have to change that on the computer, though. Damn yeah, it. if you don't mind. All right. Well, I'd love the wake-up call around yeah. 7. I'll call <laughs> down. Oh, that's, that's great. It's almost like a cockatiel. Just give me a call if you want to change in the bird call in the morning. Okay. Yeah. I'd, uh, I'd like a puffin if you could do sequential days. <laughs> <laughs> Have a oh. nice time. Thank you. Thank you. Well, enjoy the strudel convention. You should stop by. Okay, well. <laughs> okay. Scene. All right. That was pretty damn funny. <laughs> Let's make it. We can kick it up a notch. So, for Josh, uh, what is, like, a fantastical realm that Josh lives in? Hell. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Josh, <laughs> you're in hell. <laughs> <laughs> and for Jake, uh, can I get like uh, an adjective to describe him? Fluffy. Fluffy. <laughs> All right. Aww. Scene. You <laughs> sing. <laughs> 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 Greetings, mortal. Oh, hey. <laughs> 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 Juggling fireballs. All right, look, <laughs> look, I'm pretty flammable. All right, can you just, you just stand back for a Welcome second? Welcome to Cleveland, Ohio. <laughs> Good. <laughs> it's very warm. It's quite warm here, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. A little toasty. Would look. you like a room? I, yeah, I have a reservation on file. Do you have your ID? Yeah, hold on. Oh, oh, you have to get through all of that fur. It's ridiculous. You have no idea. Oh. I hyperventilate on a regular basis. I'm sorry. This is ridiculous. Do you want some oxygen? Do you, uh, no, we don't have oxygen! <laughs> <laughs> Tenth circle of hell. <laughs> Was that in Dante? I thought there were only seven. It's not important. All right. What does Dante know? Okay, look, I got a... Oh, jeez. All right, can you find the zipper on this guy? There's yeah. A, it's a whole Why thing. Why is your wallet furry? It's it's a whole... Don't ask. Just open it. Yeah, oh, come on. I need, oh, man, hamsters. Ah, here we go. Daniel Smithersonson. Daniel Smithersonson. Yes, there yes. You go. Let me look you up in the... Oh, oh I thought oh. you were going to... The famous heir to the Smitherson Circus... Family? All right, it's not important. Yes, I, we have your father. Oh. <laughs> he cheated on his wife, so. Well, oh. Fifth circle. <laughs> I thought that was the fourth. It's not important. All right. <laughs> True. All right, we have you in the system. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah, I had it, I had it booked. I was going to be. Oh, God. You okay? It's would, you like, would you like a cool glass of water? Oh, I love a cool glass. We don't have a cool glass of water! <laughs> Lukewarm, though. Do you want a lukewarm <laughs> glass of water? I mean, yeah, I take tepid, tepid, wa tepid water. Thank you. God! God! Oh, sorry. It's actually hot. I ah! think hot is lukewarm. I'm sorry. Oh. I don't. I don't have no temperatures like you do. <laughs> God! <laughs> All right. Mr. Smithersonson. Yeah. We have a cot, and it's half broken, oh. and it's in the janitor's closet, <laughs> and the only person you could talk to for the entire time is a broom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, it's, is it air conditioned at least? I could really, you gotta understand here. 
Yes. Oh. <laughs> but the air conditioner is broken. <laughs> so technically, no. But. <laughs> All right. All right. Look. Look. I got a visa and I got a check. Can you do? Can you do? We only take checks. Oh. Yes. Only <laughs> checks. <laughs> But All you right. must write them out as slowly as possible. <laughs> we take checks and we take pennies. <laughs> I have like four cents. I mean, do you want me to get the... No, yeah, you're not going to need a check for this one. Uh, Just have, make it blank. Do you have a pen? Yes, I do. <laughs> I, what, you're singeing the fur, man. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm on fire. <laughs> God, it smells horrible. <laughs> All right. It's too fast. <laughs> mm, it's a little fast, but okay, I'll take it. That's a long check. You have a long checkbook. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't notice it's fur engraved. It's very nice. Can you draw a pentagram on that check, please? <laughs> That's that, the signature. Is that like a. I can draw the Star of David. Is that. <laughs> I don't, <laughs> I don't know how to react to that. So Some I, people might say that that's incredibly evil. Oh. I have to talk to my manager. <laughs> <laughs> I won't write that on the compliment card, don't worry. We don't have compliment cards! <laughs> Only insult cards. <laughs> What's your greatest insult? Come on, give it to me now. Uh, uh, the, you're, you're not very fluffy. <laughs> that's just the truth. Oh. <laughs> Well, uh, in, in my family, that's I was fluffy when I was alive. Is this not? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, there are lights up here. I right, just, I just no, noticed it was them. the Holiday Inn. <laughs> it was, and it's, the, you know what the holiday is? <laughs> Death! Oh. <laughs> I, was, I was here for the, for the strudel. Give me that check. I okay. gotta I run it through the thing. Okay, it's good, all right. I, didn't, I was here for the strudel convention. It's, we oh. have to stand by the ovens. Oh, we have strudel. Yeah. Guess what's in the strudel? Uh, uh, berries? Yes. Well, good job. <laughs> you really are here for the strudel convention. Right? <laughs> yes. All the strudels are incredibly hot, though. You oh. can't eat them and burn your tongue off. Ah, it's all hairy, too. It's oh, so you have halitosis I do. to an extreme degree. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh. It's like Cousin It is in your mouth. Mm. <laughs> and I don't mean that sexually. No, no, no. He's, no. My cousin played the role. It's a whole family thing. Your cousin was Cousin It? Literally. <laughs> Liars, go to the third circle of hell. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's the second. Will you <laughs> shut up? <laughs> Suddenly I have a keyboard. <laughs> all right, so you have a cot. Oh, all right. Oh, I forgot to fill out the check. It's for one million dollars. I don't, that's going to bounce. <laughs> <laughs> nope. It's on the ground. Didn't go anywhere. <laughs> Can I have my room key? Yes! Of course! Of course! Just pick one from the giant in in infinite wall of keys. All right, what about that one? Oh, okay. You picked one. Okay, there you go. That one goes to Floor Blarg. <laughs> Room to <laughs> leg. Let me tell you how to get there, okay? That's an ampersand. Yeah, well, that's why we pronounce ampersands in hell. Oh. Black. <laughs> Floor black. You want to take, you want to go out the way you came, you want to take a left, you want to take a right, you want to go up, you want to go around the tree, you want to go down to the hole, go up out of the hole, <laughs> get the wings, you want to put the wings on, you want to fly around a little bit, okay. don't get too close to the sun, don't be like Icarus, he was an idiot. Right. You want to <laughs> land in the, in the copse of, of, of ch the cherry orchard, okay. and then we're doing the, the checkoff play there, you're going to want to watch that, it's really good. Okay. You're going to want to watch that, then you go through the copse, you come out of the cherry orchard, you're going to see the hotel. All right. That's step one. <laughs> <laughs> okay? All right. Now step two is, uh, you know what, I'm just going to write it down for you. Right, no, I think I got it. You want me to go up to the right, down, around the tree. You want me to grab the wings, don't get too close, because that's like Icarus. Then I'm going to have to go through the cherry field, because it's the checkoff play. Is that about right? Well, you have to watch the play. Oh. That's like living in hell. <laughs> <laughs> do I, I'm do just I get, kidding, I love checkoff. <laughs> do I get tickets at least? Can you comp some passes, or do I have to pay? Oh, I'll give you tickets. Oh, that's, that's <laughs> lovely. No, I won't! <laughs> 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 You're quite fluffy. Yeah. 
All right, it's so a $1 million, I gave you your key. You're free to it. go. You don't have to stay any longer. <laughs> that you want to. No, that's, that's all right. I'll get to my room. That's, uh, you guys should really think about getting this place air conditioned. It's all. I will try. We only have a swamp cooler. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it, just pu- it just puts, co- it puts like lukewarm water mist in the air, and then it gives you a sore throat, and then you have to go to the doctor. And oh. You're the doctor, and you're like, what am I doing here? But it's the doctor in hell. So it's like way worse than the real doctor. Oh my god, I can't even. Like Mangala? Yeah, exactly. Like, oh. I didn't read the book, okay? (laughs) No, Mangala Mangala was. That's not important. All right. Well, thanks for the room. Uh, Can you. If I'm going to write anything on the insult card, it's just a little. It's a little warm. Give me a. Give me a good one. It's a, it's a little warm. Oh, zinger! <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Have a nice time. Yeah. In Cleveland. Insane! <laughs> Outstanding. Oh. Oh. Well, folks, sadly, we have come to the very last game of the show. Oh. It's a game of objections, so it's for all of our players. And we are a panel of lawyers. <laughs> and we have about two minutes. Woo! To Speed argue a very trivial topic with many points of argument. So, from you, the audience, can I get a suggestion for a trivial topic with many points of argument? Way to whistle. Watching. The best way to whistle. Oh, oh now I'm sad about Lauren McCall, which oh. by the time you see this will be months ago. <laughs> two minutes. On the- <laughs> <laughs> two minutes on the clock. Scene. The best way to whistle is to run to your PE teacher. Then slow down because you don't want to get caught. You grab it and you go. <gasps> Objection! And then you got to run 30 laps and climb the ropes. Oh. Oh. The best way to whistle is to go to the county fair and get one of those little spiral wind-up whistles. It's like, Whoo! Objection, oh. those break after three uses. Yeah, they do. <laughs> best way to whistle is just through your lips because you'll always have your lips. Objection, boring. <laughs> the best way to whistle is through your butt. Now, let me tell you how this works. First Objection, thing I wanna... that's farting. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. The best way to whistle is, so you're sitting on your lunch break at the construction site and a fine lady comes by. Objection, sir, this is the 21st century and we are not objects. Oh, sorry. Woo! <laughs> 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 Objection, you pay $20 for that after flipping a quarter onto a plate. No, not a good idea. <laughs> best way to whistle is with a piccolo. Why? Because it's classical. It's delightful, and you can play lovely. Objection, Objection. I prefer the Goku. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Dragon Ball Z. I'm so sorry. <laughs> the best way to whistle is, I don't know, because I made a horrible joke. Objection! <laughs> you made a horrible joke. Yeah, thank joke. you. Okay. Right, come on. No, but a piccolo. It's a fine instrument, not an animal. Anime character. They're <laughs> lovely. You can Objection play. and so manly. I mean, come on. <laughs> the best way to whistle is just to forget it all and use a foghorn. If you want to get someone's attention, Objection. that is the best That's way to do it. That's just annoying and too loud. <laughs> the best way to whistle is while you work. You're just getting things done. <laughs> Objection. Hi, huh? <laughs> no, pick a one. Why? Because you can play. Ten it seconds. During an orchestra, you can be part of an orchestra. You Objection. Can be- yes, and only dogs could hear you because it's a piccolo. <laughs> Woo! Objection. It's not the Brazilian World Cup. <laughs> and Josh wins the game. <laughs> that is our show. Thank you, audience, very, very much. Woo! Thanks to the people at home. You guys, take a bow. We're struck by an improv. And we will be back in two weeks. Thank you very much. (laughs) I'll I'll eat this, I guess. (laughs) Tastes like crap. (laughs) (laughs) I'm bored now. That bit should be called the indifference of the West. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all this famine that was got meat in it. <laughs> Holy God. <sighs> Let's play some Hotel Motel. That's Woo. for two people. Woo. So it's going to be Jake and who else is going to be in Hotel Motel today? Oh, should I? Jake and Josh. Yeah. But he's exhausted. Do it. That's all right. Jake and Josh. Now, I'll the way it. Hotel Motel works is pretty in? simple. I can, okay. uh, one man gets a hotel room. Pretty basic. Then after that, we'll adjust it. Scene. Hello. Hi. 
Welcome to a Holiday Inn. Oh, good. Uh, I have a room. All right. What is your last name? Uh, Smith, do you want an ID? Yeah. There you Let's go. Take your ID. Smyther Simpson. Smyther Simpson. <laughs> You're the son of Smytherson. I get it. Mm -hmm. Oh, go. that's that's funny. I haven't heard that one before. We have a twin bed and we have a queen bed. Oh, it, did my reservation? I thought I I didn't have anything oh, reserved. Oh, hold on. Don't touch the computer. No, please. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we just had you a Smytherson. Oh. So I'm gonna change that in the records. Does that? I mean, does that affect anything? Is that? No, I just put you in a Smytherson, but your last name is actually Smyther Simpson. Son. Yeah. <laughs> There, I fixed it. Oh, okay. Thank you. So we have a queen bed. Queen, okay. And it's gonna be on the fourth floor. Sure. Yeah. If I could just have a credit card or a cash or money order, or yeah. check. We take checks. D wow. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you have. I mean, I, I mean, I have a credit card. I have. I, I mean, I have checks too. Is that? What do you prefer? I mean, well, you have my visa. Do you want to check as well? Well, you want to split it in half? <laughs> <laughs> if you don't mind, I mean, it saves me a little. All right, I'll put half on the card to start right in the checkout. All right, sure. You got a <laughs> pen? Yeah, it's got a little flower on the top so oh, you don't steal it. That's cute. <laughs> no, it's plastic. Yeah, it's not a real flower. No, no it should, they should make smelly ones. Are you here for the strudel convention? Oh, yeah. Yeah, actually. That's awesome. Yeah. It, it smells great over here. It does. It does. Is that is that down the hall? Is that in the... It's in the conference room. Okay. And some of it's by the pool. That's sure. But I don't know why. Yeah. Okay. So here's I left your it visa. blank. Got to run it through the... You left it blank. Oh, yeah, because I have to put the rest of the, the amount in. Right. All right. It's going to be $7,000. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's a joke, right? I mean, we're... This is forty dollars. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh. It's legit. All right. So here's your keys. You're in oh, room six B. Six B. Six B on the fourth floor. Six B. On the fourth floor. <laughs> and okay. just go out the way you came in. Take right. a left. Okay. Go by the pool. There's some free strudel by the pool if you want some strudel. Oh, that's excellent. That's yeah, don't knock, don't knock the table over okay. like the pool boy did because yeah. you don't want soggy strudel. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah. Then you take a right and head up the stairs and it's the first door on your right. Okay, now the convention lasts three days. Can I have a late checkout or should we talk? Should I call down? I might need a wake-up call. Okay, I could give you a wake-up call. Is that <laughs> What's your favorite bird? What? I mean, like, a, like you call up to my room. Would you make a bird? Do you make? Yeah. Bird? What's your favorite bird? Uh, a cockatiel. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty close, right? Yeah. It is. It is. Do you have any other questions, sir? No, no. You've been lovely. Uh, just so I can write a good compliment card, it's it's Jamesonburg. Jameson Berg. Jameson Berg and Smith Smithsonson. <laughs> Smithersonson. Smithersonson. That's okay. It's on my ID. All right. I have to change that on the computer, though. Damn yeah, if you don't mind. All right. Well, I'd love the wake-up call around yeah. 7. I'll call down. <laughs> oh, that's, that's great. It's almost like a cockatiel. Just give me a call if you want to change in the bird call in the morning. Okay. Yeah. I'd, uh, I'd like a puffin if you could do sequential days. <laughs> <laughs> Have a oh. nice time. Thank you. Thank you. Well, enjoy the strudel convention. You should stop by. Okay, well. <laughs> okay. Scene. All right. That was pretty damn funny. <laughs> Let's make it. We can kick it up a notch. So, for Josh, uh, what is like a fantastical realm that Josh lives in? Hell. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Josh, <laughs> you're in hell. <laughs> And for Jake, uh, can I get like uh, an adjective to describe him? Fluffy. Fluffy. All right. Aww. Scene. You <laughs> 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 sing. Greetings, me. mortal. Oh, hey. <laughs> 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 Juggling fireballs. All right, look, <laughs> look, I'm pretty flammable. All right, can you just, you just stand back for a Welcome second? Welcome to Cleveland, Ohio. <laughs> Good. <laughs> it's very warm. It's quite warm here, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, a little toasty. Would look. you like a room? I, yeah, I have a reservation on file. Do you have your ID? Yeah, hold on. Oh, oh, you have to get through all of that fur. That's ridiculous. You have no idea. Whoa. I hyperventilate on a regular basis. I'm sorry. This is ridiculous. Do you want some oxygen? Do you, uh, no, we don't have oxygen! 
<laughs> Tenth circle of hell. <laughs> was that in Dante? I thought there were only seven. It's not important. All right. <laughs> what does Dante know? Okay, look, I got a... Oh, jeez. All right, can you find the zipper on this guy? Yeah. It's a, it's a whole Why thing. is your wallet furry? It's, it's a whole... Don't ask. Just open it. Yeah, oh, come on. I need, oh, man, hamsters. Ah, uh, here we go. Daniel Smithersonson. Daniel Smithersonson. Yes, there yes. You go. Let me look you up in the... Oh, I thought you were going to... The famous heir to the Smitherson Circus family? All right, it's not important. Yes, I, we have your father. Oh. <laughs> he cheated on his wife, so... Well, oh. Fifth circle. <laughs> I thought that was the fourth. It's not important. All right. <laughs> True. All right, we have you in the system. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah, I had it, I had it booked. I was going to be... Oh, God. Are you okay? It's you like, warm. Would you like a cool glass of water? Oh, I love a cool glass. We don't have cool glasses of water! <laughs> Lukewarm, though. Do you want a lukewarm <laughs> glass of water? I mean, yeah, I take tepid, tepid, wa tepid water. Thank you. God! God! Oh, sorry. It's actually hot. I ah! think hot is lukewarm. I'm sorry. Oh. I don't. I don't have no temperatures like you do. God. <laughs> All right. Mr. Smithersonson. Yeah. We have a cot, and it's half broken, oh. and it's in the janitor's closet, <laughs> and the only person you could talk to for the entire time is a broom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, it's, is it air conditioned at least? I could really, you gotta understand here. Yes. Oh. <laughs> but the air conditioner is broken. <laughs> so technically, no, but. <laughs> All right. All right, look. Look, I got a visa and I got a check. Can you do, can you do? We only take checks. Oh. Yes, only <laughs> checks. <laughs> but right. you must write them out as slowly as possible. <laughs> we take checks and we take pennies. <laughs> I have like four cents. I mean, do you want me to get the... No, yeah, you're going to need a check for this one. Uh, Just have, make it blank. Do you have a pen? Yes, I do. <laughs> Like, what? You're singeing the fur, oh, man. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm on fire. <laughs> God, it smells horrible. <laughs> it's too fast. <laughs> mm, it's a little fast, but okay, I'll take it. That's a long check. You have a long checkbook. <laughs> yeah. You didn't notice. It's fur engraved. It's very nice. Can you draw a pentagram on that check, please? <laughs> That's that, the signature. Is that like a, I can draw the Star of David. Is that <laughs> I, don't, <laughs> I don't know how to react to that. So Some I, people might say that that's incredibly evil. Oh. I have to talk to my manager. <laughs> <laughs> I won't write that on the compliment card, don't worry. We don't have compliment cards. <laughs> Only insult cards. <laughs> What's your greatest insult? Come on, give it to me now. Uh, uh, you're, you're not very fluffy. Oh. That's just the truth. Oh. <laughs> well, in, in my family, that's I was fluffy when I was alive. Is this not? <laughs> Sorry, oh. there are lights up here. Right. I, I just no, noticed it was them. the Holiday Inn. <laughs> it was. It's the, you know what the holiday is? Death! Oh. <laughs> I, was, I was here for the, for the strudel. Give me that check. I okay. gotta I run it through the thing. Okay, it's good. All right. I, didn't, I was here for the strudel convention. It's... We have to stand by the ovens. Oh, we have strudel. Yeah. Guess what's in the strudel? Uh, uh, berries. Yes. Well, good <laughs> job. You really are here for the strudel convention. I am. Yes. All the strudels are incredibly hot, though. You oh. can't eat them and put your tongue off. Ah, yes. Oh, hairy, too. Oh, so you have halitosis I do. to an extreme degree. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh. It's like Cousin It is in your mouth. Mm. <laughs> and I don't mean that sexually. No, no, no. He's, no. My cousin played the role. It's a whole family thing. Your cousin was Cousin It? Literally. <laughs> Liars, go to the third circle of hell. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's the second. Will <laughs> shut up! <laughs> so, suddenly I have a keyboard. <laughs> all right, so you have a cot. Oh, all right. Oh, I forgot to fill out the check. It's for one million dollars. I don't, that's going to bounce. <laughs> <laughs> nope, it's on the ground. Didn't go anywhere. <laughs> 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 I 
<laughs> Can I have my room key? Yes! <laughs> of course! Of course! <laughs> Just pick one from the giant in, in, infinite wall of keys. <laughs> All right, what about that one? Oh, okay, you picked one. Okay, there you go. That one goes to floor blurg. Room leg. <laughs> Let me tell you how to get there, okay? That's an ampersand. Yeah, well, that's why we pronounce ampersands in hell. Oh. Black. <laughs> Floor black. You want to take, you want to go out the way you came, you want to take a left, you want to take a right, you want to go up, you want to go around the tree, you want to go down to the hole, go up out of the hole, <laughs> get the wings, you want to put the wings on, you want to fly around a little bit. Okay. Don't get too close to the sun, don't be like Icarus, he was an idiot. Right. You want to <laughs> land in the in the cops of, of, of ch the cherry orchard. Okay. And we're doing the, the checkoff play there. You're going to want to watch that. It's really good. Okay. You're going to want to watch that. Then when you go through the cops, you come out of the cherry orchard, you're going to see the hotel. All right. That's step one. <laughs> <laughs> okay? All right. Now, step two is, uh, you know what? I'm just going to write it down for you. Right. No, I think I got it. You want me to go up to the right, down, around the tree. You want me to grab the wings. Don't get too close because that's like Icarus. Then I'm going to have to go through the cherry field because it's the checkoff play. Is that about right? Well, you have to watch the play. Oh. That's like living in hell. <laughs> <laughs> do I, I'm do just I kidding. I love Chekhov. <laughs> do I get tickets at least? Can you comp some passes or do I have to pay? Oh, I'll give you tickets. Oh, that's, that's <laughs> lovely. <laughs> no, I won't! <laughs> <laughs> Quite fluffy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It's so a uh, one million dollars. I gave you your key. You're free to it. go. You don't have to stay any longer. <laughs> that you want to. No, that's that's all right. I'll get to my room. That's uh, you guys should really think about getting this place air conditioned. It's all. I will try. We only have a swamp cooler. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and it, just pu it just puts cold. It puts like lukewarm water mist in the air, and sure. then it gives you a sore throat, and then you have to go to the doctor. And oh. You the doctor, and you're like, what am I doing here? But it's the doctor in hell. So it's like way worse than the real doctor. Oh my God, I can't even. Like Mangala? Yeah, exactly. Like. Oh. I didn't read the book, okay? <laughs> <laughs> no, Mangala, Mangala was, that's not important. Oh. All right, well, thanks for the room. Uh, can you, if I'm gonna write anything on the insult card, it's just a little, it's a little warm. Yes, give me a, give me a good one. It's a, it's a little warm. Oh, zinger! <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Have a nice time. Yeah. In Cleveland. Zing! <laughs> <laughs> Outstanding. Oh. Well, folks, sadly, we have come to the very last game of the show. Oh. It's a game of objections, so it's for all of our players. And we are a panel of lawyers. And we have about two minutes to Speed argue a very trivial topic with many points of argument. So from you, the audience, can I get a suggestion for a trivial topic with many points of argument? Way to whistle. The best way to whistle. Oh, now I'm sad about Lauren Bacall, which Aww. by the time you see this will be months ago. <laughs> Two, minutes <on> the <laughs> <laughs> Two minutes on the clock, scene. The best way to whistle is to run to your PE teacher, and then slow down because you don't want to get caught. You grab it and you go, <gasps> objection, and then you got to run 30 laps and climb the ropes. Oh. The best way to whistle is to go to the county fair and get one of those little spiral wind-up whistles. It's like, Whoo! Objection, oh. those break after three uses. Yeah, they do. <laughs> Best way to whistle is just through your lips. Because you'll always have your lips. Objection, boring. <laughs> the best way to whistle is through your butt. Now, let me tell you how this works. First Objection, wanna... that's farting. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. The best way to whistle is, so you're sitting on your lunch break at the construction site, and a fine lady comes by. Objection, sir. This is the 21st century, and we are not objects. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Objection, you pay $20 for that after flipping a quarter onto a plate. No, not a good idea. <laughs> Best way to whistle is with a piccolo. Why? Because it's classical, it's delightful, and you can play lovely. Objection, Objection. I prefer the Goku. <laughs> oh, God. Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> I'm so sorry. The best way to whistle is I don't know because I made a horrible joke. Objection! Uh, <laughs> you made a horrible joke. Yeah, thank joke. you. Okay. Right, come on. <laughs> no, but a piccolo. It's a fine instrument, not an anime character. They're lovely. You can. Objection play. and so manly. I mean, come on. <laughs> The best way to whistle is just to forget it all and use a foghorn. If you want to get someone's attention, Objection. that is the best way to do it. Objection, that's just annoying and too loud. 
The best way to whistle is while you work. You're just getting things done. Objection. Hi, ho. <laughs> no, pick a one. Why? Because you can play. Ten it seconds. During an orchestra, you can be part of an orchestra. You Objection. Can yes, and only dogs could hear you because it's a piccolo. <laughs> Woo! Objection. It's not the Brazilian World Cup. <laughs> and Josh wins the game. <laughs> that is our show. Thank you, audience, very, very much. Woo! Thanks to the people at home. You guys, take a bow. We're struck by an improv. And we'll be back in two weeks. Thank you very much. Woo!